Hello ladies and gents, in this video we're going to create a simple slot joint that allows you to put two pieces of wood together. It's a common um, wood joining technique, it's a common joint. You'll find it used in lots of different things like shelving and creating the inserts for game boxes and all different kinds of stuff that we might do in the design classroom. So to create the example that you see on the screen, make sure you've opened up Illustrator and then click File, New to create your canvas. Make sure your measurements are set to millimeters. And for this project, we're going to use a 200 mil by 200 mil canvas. And change your color mode to RGB if it isn't already. So you need RGB color, not CMYK. And then hit Create. Now with the canvas created, we're going to click on the rectangle tool and draw any size rectangle for the time being, or square. Um, and then in the properties panel, I'm going to change the dimensions to 50 millimeters by 50 millimeters. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can get a better view of what we're doing here. And then I'm going to create another rectangle. And this time I'm going to set the width to 2.6, which is the thickness of the plywood I will be using. You might need a different thickness if you're using three or four mil plywood or acrylic. Then I'm going to change the height to 25 millimeters, which is half of the square that I've just drawn previously. Now with the selection tool, I can just drag that into the center of the square. And you can see that the, uh, the word center has appeared, the little um, intersect lines appear and it tells you when you've got it dead center. And then I'm just gonna move it up so it's in line with the very top of that square. Now I can change the, uh, the stroke color to red. We'll use RGB red. Make sure the um, point size is one and we'll turn the fill color off. And then I can do, I could just drag a box around everything and, and change the stroke color all at once. Um, there we go. Okay, so it's all in red, it's all ready for cutting. Uh, now this will work as it is on the laser cutter, but because we are perfectionists, um, we've got this line that runs across the top of our piece. And if we look at the example that I made before, that line isn't there, it's, it's just a gap. So how did I do that? Well, what you can do is if you click on the white selection tool, this is called a direct selection tool, you can click on an individual part of a path. And you can see these little squares here, these anchor points, which means that this is a, a different path before it changes direction. So if I just click on this path, and then press the delete key, that's gone, right? And if I click on the top of the other rectangle that I made and press the delete key, now that's gone. But now the top of the lines are missing, so how do I get those back? To do that, simply go to either the pen tool, or you can use the um, line segment tool, but I'm gonna use the pen tool. Click on the anchor point at the top of the corner of the original square, click once, move your cursor until it intersects with the top of the other rectangle and then click again to add another anchor point. Um, and then we can do that for the other side. Click on the corner of the rectangle and click to add another anchor point. And there we go. So that's how I achieved the, the piece with the slot in it without the line running across the entire of the top of the square. Now, so we have another piece to slot into it, all I'm going to do is zoom out a bit, click on the selection tool, drag a box around this, make sure it's selected, hit edit, copy, edit, paste, and then I'm going to just move that out of the way to the side, and in the rotation, I could just rotate it manually here by moving the cursor towards the side of the, uh, the shape that I've just copied and pasted. Um, but So it's perfectly 180 degrees, what I'm gonna do is I'll type in 180 in the rotate box in the properties panel and press enter and it's rotated. So now we've got our RGB slot joint pieces ready for use with the laser cutter. And that's it, so it's very, very simple. Um, and then you just need to make sure you've saved it as um, an Illustrator project file. So I'll just call this slot joint. And when you get Illustrator options popping up, just click OK to that. You don't need to change anything. And then File, Save As again. 
but this time you don't need to change the name but you do need to change the format to SVG and then hit save and with SVG options just click OK to that um, and that's the file that you will use with the laser cutter and that's it so it's very very simple um, try it yourself and um, see if it works